gentlemen, Mrs. Davis, Mrs. Martin, and Mrs. Sinatra present their sons, the Drunk Singers. <laughs> the other Italian. The snow is snowing and the wind is blowing and I will weather the storm. What do I care how much it may storm? I've got my love to keep me warm. I can't remember a white December What those eyes fickle for What do I care If they eyes fickle for I got my love to keep me warm Off with my overcoat Get rid of the glove Who needs an overcoat Burn it up with love my heart's on fire, and the fire gets higher. So I can weather the storm. What do I care how much it may storm? I've got my love to get me warm. Gets higher. I will weather the storm. What do I care how much it might storm? I've got my love, back to love. I've got my love to keep. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I get too old for this jazz. I can tell you that right now. Hot damn, boy. Good morning, boozers. And welcome to Hello There. Uh, hey. Welcome to the Sands Hotel. As Vice President in charge of entertainment, I hereby officially welcome you to this saloon. And I was listening to that drunk who was out here a minute ago. Oh, boy, he's a way up there tonight. I think he did it on chicken soup. I hope that you're having a nice evening. It's a glorious night outdoors. I happen to walk from one door around around two people and back inside the other way. We ain't seen much daylight since we've been up here. A lot of Jack Daniels, but not much daylight. And um, we hope you like our show tonight. This morning, I think I'm running out of gas. I think I split my reed this afternoon. We're going to try to entertain you in a strange way. We ain't figured out ourselves yet what the hell we do up here, but. Um, it's fun to work with a group of people like this. It's a little easier. I'm not saying all people. Rather than doing 55 minutes by yourself, this kind of cuts down the action a little bit. You don't have to go and keep breathing and golfing and all that stuff to get in shape every day. Just stay at the bar until late in the morning, and if you can make it all right, you see? You get by the first 32 bars, you're home free in this show. And uh, working with Dean is a particularly wonderful thing to, have to experience because he's an easy-going guy to the problem. He and he know what he's like. And, uh, and he's a nice man on stage as he is off stage. He's a nice, generous man. Gave his wife, Jeannie, a Jaguar for Christmas and an ate her. Where'd you all come from? The Thunderbirds? 
You know, I never heard anybody in the town say, hey, I just came from the Thunderbird. <laughs> no, they're from the Yellow Pages. They ain't even from the Thunderbird. And, uh, of course, working with Smokey the Bear is also a big thrill. But he's always so vivacious and colorful, you know what I mean? Right now, I think he's sleeping in his dressing room. Or he was five minutes ago. He sleeps between shows. Oh, you hear some notes that'll scare you when he comes. Never warms up at all. He's got guts. Well, one of these days, I'm going to spill him all over the street. If he doesn't warm up before the show. Sammy, you know, is a... Well, you know, you've seen him before. He's a highly talented gentleman. He's so good, he's a group. Without his uncle and his brother, I mean his father, or his mother, whoever else he used to work with, I don't know. He's a mother all by himself. Oh, he's some kind of mother, too. And, uh... Sammy was one of the original Freedom Runners before they started riding buses, you know. I said to him one day, uh, please, I don't want to be obligated. I said, suppose you were down south, Smokey, and a bunch of them creeps with the sheets chased you up the main street about 60 miles an hour. What would you do? He said, 70. What a subject he would have made trying to get into the university down there. Ooh. He wouldn't have needed the marshals, just us. We'd handle the whole situation for him. We put on one show one afternoon. They'd say, oh, let him in. These guys are driving us crazy. Let him in the school. Well, I guess that's it, folks. I wouldn't be too boisterous if I were you because I've been known to do some very strange things in the middle of a show. Like getting on a train. <laughs>